So in this video, we're going to open up a lithium iron magnesium phosphate valence battery. And these are rated for medical equipment. They're UL listed. They have safety certifications and they're some of the most expensive batteries on the market. What I want to know is how it compares to our cheaper solar batteries that we buy with the same chemistry. But what scares me is it says made in China. And if you go on Alibaba right now, you can find this exact same battery without this label for much cheaper. So I don't know if Valence is actually making their own batteries or if they're just slapping on a label. I have no idea. But what I want to know is why these are so expensive. These are so much more expensive than any other solar battery that's lithium iron phosphate. And they say that with the addition of magnesium, it's more heat stable and it lasts for a long time. But I have no idea. So we need to open these up. And we've got two of them. So if I screw this up, we've got a second one to try opening up. Okay, this case is a little difficult to open, you guys. I was just a millimeter off from hitting those cells. So the top of this battery is connected with copper bars and it's spot welded on the top. And then we have a second case on the bottom and actually we can get this off. Oh, there we go. And so the bottom of the cells has these cell protectors and it's made out of really soft rubber. And on the front of the battery, we have two temperature sensors. And that's very good. When you have something that needs a low temp or high temp cutoff for a battery system, you want multiple temperature sensors. And then on the back, we have balance cables that go to individual cell packs. And what's amazing is that every single balance lead wire and temperature sensor actually has a small channel cut out for it in the rubber cell protectors. We have one, two, three, and four temperature sensors on the front of the battery. And on every individual battery cell, it says valence proven 4.4 watt hour. And then the model number is IFR 186503C. DN2500052975. And to open this pack further and to remove the BMS, we actually have to cut this strip off because there's no way to really open it. And under the lid, we have more protection. There are barriers everywhere. There's a barrier on the top of the batteries. There's something underneath the BMS. Everything is separate from each other and protected. So this is the positive terminal of the battery. And then the negative is over here. It goes through the BMS. And then we have the main negative on top. Now we need to figure out how to remove this. This looks difficult. But I just noticed there's another cover on the top of the battery. So we need to remove this and then we'll get to the BMS. So now the pack is separated from the BMS and we can do all sorts of stuff with this. I could add my own BMS and run it at 12 volts. This is a 4S battery because there's five wires attached to it. So lots of options here. And look at the spot welding job, you guys. Every single one of them is perfect. And even though this battery is higher quality than the other batteries we've been looking inside, this is still made in China. So it might, these might all be made within like five miles of each other. So first I removed the sticker and now we actually have some bolts to access. And what's cool to see is that this top cover plate has high quality steel screws and every single one of them is loctited and it feels like they were torqued down. Also, there's a vent right here. If moisture gets in, it has a place to escape. And here is the BMS. We have a couple MOSFETs and a heat sink and a shunt. And this is the main negative terminal and this is where the power comes in for the negative. And then we also have all of the balance cables going up and over to here. And then all of the temperature sensors go to the front of the battery. And then these are the cables that go out to the hub if you have it and you can connect to other batteries. And what's cool is that even the wires are secured to the circuit board and to the case. And let's unplug them real quick. Every part of this battery, whether it's the case, the cables, what's holding down the cables, everything is built for this battery. Because other battery manufacturers will buy hundreds of some random BMS and throw it in with some other cells, but that's not the case. Everything on this is designed for this battery and no other. And it even has that coating over the board to protect from moisture. And this is the opposite side of the circuit board. Look at the sophistication, you guys. 
compared to those cheap Chinese BMSs? This is nuts. I have no idea what's going on here. There are so many things happening. And it's all coated with that plastic stuff. It's like semi-potted. I forgot the name of it. And what's really cool is I can use this as a BMS for other lithium iron phosphate 4S battery systems. The only problem is that I think the max discharge rate capability is 40 amps. And there's only, you know, eight MOSFETs here and they're pretty tiny. So for this specified application, it works great, but I can't really use this for large battery banks. What I could do is actually connect a large relay and use this as a trigger because we have temperature sensors. So I could make a very high quality professional system by using the salvaged board to trigger a large relay so I can actually run a huge inverter, which that sounds like a lot of fun, you guys. We should do that. So what did we learn today? The high quality batteries are worth it and every part in this system is made to work together. Every component down to the screws and even the Loctite used and how the cables are held down is designed to work for the specified application. So yeah, now we have a frame of reference. We actually know what a good battery looks like. And, but what I wanna know now is how this differs from the cheap ones on Alibaba that look identical to these. They, they have the same exact chemistry, they have the same model numbers, but they do not show safety certifications or UL listings. And it says that there's patents for this one and Valance even puts their name on the cells. So what I want to know is what are all these white label batteries that look the same as Valance, but they're not Valance. So we might have to buy one of those and find out. I mean, even the circuit board itself says Valance. So it's really hard to white label something when your name is all over it, but it still says made in China. So I have no idea, but it was so cool to open this up and I need to use this on a bigger system. And that would be awesome because this thing will last forever. So compared to the last battery that we tore apart, this is a world of a difference. So I hope you guys learned a lot and this was really fun. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.